Hey guys, the aim of this video is to show you how to graph a piecewise function. So over here in this question, you can see that we have different rows and we have some conditions. So to make this question more clear, I'm going to go ahead and look at our restraints. We have x less than 1. So in a real question, you wouldn't do this, but this for the purpose of this question, I'm going to do this to make it more clear. So you can see that when x is 1 over here, we're looking at everything less than 1 and 1 to 3 so these purple lines are just our restraints so now to look at the actual function we have f of x equals negative 3 which is the same thing as saying y equals negative 3 so at y equals to negative 3 we have the line that looks like this and because the function y equals to negative 3 is less than 1 we don't go past the line x equals to 1 and because the inequality does not have an equal sign, it means that the function for y equals to negative 3 is not defined at 1. So we represent this with an open circle. For our next function, we have y equals to 2. So we have the line y equals to 2. And it's defined in the region 1 to 3. So again, if we look at our restraint, if we look at 3, it's not defined there. So it's an open circle. However, if you look at our restraint this time, it has a equal sign, less than or equal sign. So how we represent this is a closed circle, which is filled in. The equal sign says that function 2 is defined on the line x equals to 1. So we must include this into our piecewise function when we graph it. And lastly, we have the function y equals to 4. And if we look at the restraint, there's no equal sign, it's only a greater than, so we leave it as an open circle.